Welcome to Admin User Tutorial. In this video I will walk you through the steps to use your admin account. First of all, go to Wasil Portal and log in by using admin username and password. After successful login you will land in the e-contract page. You view the e-contract from that page or you can download it to be able to read it completely before signing it. After reading, fill your name, email and mobile number then agree on the terms and on signing on behalf of your respective healthcare provider. By ticking the two checkboxes at the end of the e-contract. Then click on the agree button. Now you'll be navigated to the confirmation page where a verification email is sent to your registered email. You need to check your email to complete the e-contract agreement process. If no email is received, you can click on the Resend button in confirmation page to resend the verification email. It is recommended to download the e-contract by clicking on the Download as PDF button for your future reference. After receiving the confirmation email, you need to verify your account by clicking on Verify Now button or copy the link and paste it in the web browser. Upon successful verification on the web browser, you'll get an activation message then you need to press continue to go to your admin user page. Now you accessed your admin user account successfully. Go to the Provider Admin Menu tab on the left side and click on User Management sub-tab. You'll be navigated to Manage Users page where you can create new users or update existed users from a list of all users if you have created any. If you need to create a new user you can click on Create User icon then fill all the required fields. After that choose the privileges you need to assign to that new user and click on the save button to create the user. Also you can update an existed user information by going to the list of existed users and clicking the edit user button on the right end of the selected user row. You can update the selected user information and change the user privileges. Also you can disable or enable the user by clicking either disable or enable then click on the update button to save your changes. If you want to reset a specific user's password you can go to the list of existed users and click on the reset password button on the right end of the selected user row. Then type the new password and confirm password then click on the reset button. Finally, you can delete a specific user by clicking on the X button on the right end of the selected user row. Then a confirmation message will appear to confirm deleting the user. Thank you so much for watching.